Okay, so today we're going to do some uh, um, demonstrations about how to uh, make a device, a little bit tricky one. So this one is for the measurement of uh, uh, thermal conductivities of a substrate. So this method is called the 3 omega method. And uh, as you can see in these papers, actually they have uh, some kind of uh, uh, metal wires. And these metal wires will have some resistance. And if you connect it in these configurations, basically you have a potentiometers, and this potentiometers is going through in series with your uh, metal stripes. And this metal stripe is on top of some kind of a substrate. And, and if you uh, generate a sine wave on it, and uh, this sine wave is going to uh, uh, split between these two uh, resistors, and they're going to have some kind of uh, signals out of that. And this signals is coming in through some kind of uh, amplifier and go into the locking amplifier. Okay, so basically, um, this method is very uh, simple. So if you look at here, so this is uh, basically some kind of uh, diagrams. So you have a uh, uh, metal wires and this metal wires because you have a resistance on it. So they're going to be heated up and uh, this heat up is generates at the uh, frequencies of the input frequency, right? So the heat is over there because the heat is uh, uh, I square over R. So the frequency, uh, the heat is actually generated by R squ uh, I square. So it's a double the frequency. And if you look at the heat itself, because the heat is coming up, the temperature will rise. So they actually generate the three omega uh, signals out of this. So basically one wants to know, okay, what is the metal wires how much is actually heat up as a function of the frequency and this allow us to attract the information of the thermal conductivity of the heater wires basically it's a metal wires um, with regarding to the environment okay how well they actually uh, conduct the, uh, the, 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 the heat out and uh, we're regarding this potentiometers as a very big one so they actually uh, doesn't change the um, uh, the temperatures uh, as the uh, heaters uh, as shown here. So as you can see here, there is uh, several um, uh, blocks, and uh, because this is a locking amplifier, so they actually amplify the signal at a certain frequencies, uh, which is a very good way to uh, isolate the noise from the uh, uh, from the uh, isolate the noise from the frequencies. So in order to get that, you need some kind of a differential amplifiers. So they basically, because you have A and B, this is two pads, and it has to subtract with each other. After subtracting, you basically uh, put this into the uh, channel A of the locking amplifiers. And for here, there's another one, differential amplifiers. And here, there's something like that, it's called a, a DAC, or data uh, digital to analog converter, because the, 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 the reason for this is that you want to match the resistance of your uh, heaters, which is your device, with the potentiometer. Okay, so um, for the uh, more detailed uh, descriptions about the uh, instrument or about the uh, method, please check the uh, uh, papers as listed here. So the, the simulations and the experimental studies of this one. So there is many uh, a series behind it, but like here, we want to see how well uh, we can actually make this. Okay, we can actually make this. So in order to do that, okay, in order to do that, so we need some kind of uh, electronics. All right, so we need some kind of electronics to do it. So the digital to analog converters is actually a, um, is a multiplying digital to analog converter because you, you cannot having the, uh, the resistance always matching from one to another because as the temperature goes up and down, the uh, heater resistance is going to change if you're just like assuming the uh, resistance of your potentiometer doesn't change, but the overall it's going to change because the temperature of your uh, heaters is going to change because you want to measure at the different temperatures what is the uh, thermal conductivity of the material is going to be, right? So in that way, we want to have this uh, digital to analog converter. So say, okay, this is a uh, hundred ohms and this is a uh, hundred and ten ohms. We multiply the signals by a factor of 1.1, something like that. Okay. So in practice, it's actually not that. So like we're going to talk about just in a second. But overall, so this is going to be controlled by our computers, and overall the, the, the data is going to be fit into the computers and become a program. So this will lead a little bit in electronics, 
uh, and building the instrument as well as the uh, Lavio programming as you can see uh, later on. So we're going to spend a little bit of time of doing that. So for the next videos, we're going to start to make the uh, hardwares of the board. So basically it's here. So everything is um, in the uh, uh, differential amplifiers, the, the, the DACs and the interface. So we're going to see how to do that.